Let's take a walk through a story filled with ancient warriors, dazzling feats, and a fitness revolution that has withstood the test of time. Calisthenics, a term derived from the Greek words kalos, meaning beauty, and sthenos, meaning strength, has its roots firmly embedded in ancient civilizations. Yeah, that's right, this isn't just another fitness fad. Dude, it's been around for centuries. All right, so our journey begins in ancient Greece, the birthplace of calisthenics. See, back in those days, the Greeks placed immense importance on physical fitness, believing that a strong body was vital for developing a strong mind. I think they're right. Anyways, they developed a training system that involved bodyweight exercises like push-ups, squats, and lunges. They used these as the foundation for their warriors and athletes. Now, fast forward a few centuries, and we find ourselves in ancient Rome. So, the Romans have adopted many of the Greeks' philosophies, including the significance of physical strength. They took calisthenics to brand new heights, incorporating it into their military training, gladiator competitions, and even as a form of entertainment for the masses. As we move forward, we come across ancient China and India, where calisthenics took on unique forms. See, in China, martial arts training incorporated bodyweight exercises, such as animal-inspired movements and qigong exercises exercises to enhance strength, flexibility, and combat skills. And then similarly in India, the practice of yoga flourished, emphasizing bodyweight movements and poses to promote physical and mental well-being. So, calisthenics remained prevalent throughout various cultures. Like in India, for instance, the practice of yoga blossomed. The ancient discipline emphasized bodyweight movements and poses to promote physical and mental well-being. Yoga, which is a form of calisthenics, is absolutely still widely practiced today by millions around the world. All right, so now let's fast forward to the late 18th century, the era of European enlightenment. Now, a man by the name of Friedrich Ludwig Jahn, also known as the father of gymnastics, revolutionized calisthenics by introducing the concept of apparatus-based exercises. So get this, Jan designed and popularized the use of equipment like the parallel bars, balance beams, and rings, bringing a new dimension to bodyweight training. Jan's influence quickly spread throughout Europe and it eventually made its way to the United States. In the early 19th century, a group of Swedish soldiers known as the Royal Central Institute of Gymnastics developed a comprehensive system called Swedish Gymnastics. These included calisthenics exercises performed with precision and control. Now, this system formed the foundation for modern gymnastics and, of course, modern-day calisthenics, baby. In the 20th century, the world witnessed the rise of physical culture movements and bodybuilding. Fitness pioneers like Charles Atlas and Jack LaLanne played significant roles in promoting calisthenics as an effective and accessible form of exercise for the masses. Their influence paved the way for calisthenics to evolve into what we know and love today. Oh, did I mention that in Russia during the Soviet era, calisthenics gained popularity as a part of the physical education curriculum? Yeah, the Soviet government recognized the importance of developing strong and fit citizens, and guess what? Calisthenics played a significant role in achieving that goal. Gymnastics-based exercises, emphasizing strength, flexibility, and grace, were taught to children and athletes alike. Now, the influence of Soviet calisthenics and gymnastics spread well beyond Russia's borders, inspiring athletes and fitness enthusiasts around the world. The blend of strength, skill, and artistic expression that's showcased in these routines captivated audiences and paved the way for the emergence of calisthenics as a sport. A study by Jay Hoffman and C.P. Gable in 2016 titled The Origins of Western Mind-Body Exercise Methods, Jonathan Hoffman and C. Philip Gable explore the history and evolution of mind-body exercise methods in the Western world. The objective of their research was to investigate the origins, philosophies, exercises, and relationships of these methods with mainstream healthcare over the past two centuries. The study reveals that in the early 20th century, several mind-body exercise methods emerged from the contributions of six pioneering founders, Checkley, Mueller, Alexander, Randall, Pilates, and Morris. These founders shared a common exercise philosophy and focused on functional movement harmonizing exercises. 
The rise of these mind-body exercise methods coincided with the decline of the physical culture movement of the 18th and 19th centuries, which was associated with gymnasium-based activities and the simultaneous emergence of bodybuilding and strength training. Now, although these Western mind-body exercise methods have largely been forgotten today, the study highlights their significant success and popularity during the first half of the 20th century. Medical and allied health practitioners recognized and supported these methods, and they were practiced by people from various backgrounds, ranging from society's elite to the deprived minorities. But here's the real game changer, the internet and social media. Dude, with platforms like YouTube and Instagram, calisthenics took on a whole new life. As we look to the future, one thing is absolutely for certain. Calisthenics is here to stay, and it's only getting better. With new techniques, variations, and training methodologies emerging every day, the possibilities are endless. The calisthenics community, both online and offline, is a force to be reckoned with, supporting and motivating each other to reach new heights. It's a world where you can push your limits, surprise yourself, and unleash your true potential. If you want to master calisthenics and have the best workout and nutrition program, you can visit our website by clicking the first link in the description of this video. As always guys, stay strong!